Um, what are you doing here? You're watching. You're watching the video. Okay, that's cool. Um, do you mind if I show you something? What do you mean this is like Blue's Clues? Okay, well, I was thinking, you know, March Madness is coming up, and I go to Nebraska, right? So, uh, what if I put all the teams on my whiteboard that Nebraska has beaten in March Madness, right? So, because that'd be kind of interesting to see, and you, you want to see? Okay. It's a, it's a pretty big list. No, you don't have to zoom in or anything. There's just, they haven't won any games. I figured I, I should just show that to you. Um, but you know who has won a game and has been there 16 times is Iona. And they've only won one game. I mean, good job on that coach. Half the time he was playing a different team. Oh, this is the, this is, I guess, the intro. But I have to start every intro the same way. Oh, gosh. What up? I didn't work out yet today, so my bad. Ugh. Okay. Let's talk about things. Things like, oh my gosh, I can't believe blank, and then blank. It's gonna, we got a crazy lineup for you guys today. And there's nothing at my door, I just keep looking at it because I have to look at myself and my mouth move as I talk. And now, the fact that I'm saying it out loud makes it feel really weird because, okay, I gotta stop talking about that. Anyways, so today I woke up, I felt better than I did the night before because I felt uh, sick, I think I told you guys that, and it was very hard to go to sleep the night before. This night it was also a little bit difficult to go to sleep, but I woke up and I was fine. Nothing huge was going on. Uh, wait. Nothing uh, difficult was preventing me from sleeping. Like, there was no giant spike on my bed. Or it's not like Noel was on fire. If it was on fire, it would probably increase. It's like you got to pay more for utilities. can't uh, charge that much. can't be using heat that much, you know. Actually, I wonder. No. No. It doesn't matter. Uh, then I went to my physics class, and after my physics class, I went to, uh, my room, I took a few notes, then I walked over to my service learning place. I had probably the most difficult job I've ever had there, which is sorting bed frames by each other. And the thing is, bed, bed frames can get caught on each other. I can actually maybe show you on this. Um, can you see? You can't see. But bed frames not all are not always like this where they're one unit uniform all the way across. But the thing with these bed frames is they're gonna be standing up completely on their own. They don't have these wooden supports behind me. They that means that they also have to be a little bit adjustable, and the adjustable parts of them can get caught on others. And when you're lifting out bed frames from like a box that's this big that I have to like lean over to see and you're lifting them up and they're getting caught you have to use a lot of force you have to use all the force and I don't <laughs> it's very difficult for me to use all that force for two hours straight but I did it <sighs> yeah it's not that cool it's pretty boring actually but I'm proud of myself that I'm able to be that boring because not everybody is like, man, I'm above taking, some people are actually, no, some people are, I'm above taking out these bed frames. I don't need to do that. I'm going to be like Kanye. Anyways, I, oh, oh, I'll tell you my next class. My next class was at five. My service learning ended at four, walked back, was very tired. Entered in my hours that I did, reread a little bit, saw a little bit of basketball, then walked there to my class. That class was about empathy today, and then it was talking about, you don't know what someone's going through. And <laughs> they talked about this example where these kids 
were on the bus and their dad wasn't like controlling them very well and then they asked us how would you feel and i was like oh i'd be pretty annoyed and then they hit you with a bombshell that uh i didn't expect it's like well their mom is sick right now they just saw her in the hospital and you know they've never seen her like that and it's uh difficult for them and i was like uh okay so you're telling me these kids their response to their parent being sick was like (laughs) and not in and just in like a goofy sort of way I had a hard time believing that, and I mentioned that to the teacher, and was like, well, kids are like that, and I'm like, "Mm, I don't know. As someone who's had grandparents die, I wasn't exactly the first person to say, hey, man, let's go play football outside. Oh, oh, wait, he's dead. Okay, we can't do that. Um, But I definitely wouldn't be running outside. I'd be, (laughs) I actually remember after my, one of my, my only grandpa that has died, uh, after his funeral, I was playing Skylanders either on my 3DS or on the TV. I'm pretty sure it was on my 3DS. And I, isn't that weird that I remember that almost more than the service? That's, I don't know, man. Maybe I use video games as a coping mechanism, probably a coping mechanism that a lot of people use. But that class is pretty superficial and they always ask questions and I'm like I don't feel like answering this because I the answer is so obvious and if I say anything different it's gonna be like well and I did say something different in the beginning of class and it was uh I got a well so that happened I haven't worked out yet today and I've barely done homework Tuesday is not really a day where I get stuff done and that's annoying because I should be getting stuff done. I just don't have that much time. By the time I'm ready to do stuff like that, it's pretty late. Um, last week, I worked out in between my two classes on... I worked out in between my service learning and my physics class that got over, and that ended up being kind of a bad decision because I was very sweaty there and uncomfortable. So I decided not to work out, but it was like a great time saver because I didn't have to work out at what might end up being 8 p.m. So, oh my gosh, you know what's funny? I said I hate hockey, but you know what I dislike even more, even though I played the video game version with cars? Soccer. I don't care. I, we could all... We had a programming class, and the only two players we could list were Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, and I couldn't even list their numbers. Well, to be fair, I can't really list many people's numbers who played any sports, but I don't think you guys care about about Barcelona, so I'm just not going to talk about it. And again, I don't know any of these people. Dad, please get mad at me. I... You heard me correctly. I said, please get mad at me. So, don't tell me to shave. We have Dick Allen, Jim. All right. (laughs) His first name is Dick. Jim Rice, Buck Williams. I might know that guy. Jason Alam and Petra Kvitsova. That guy's probably from Russia, so we're not going to talk about him today. He probably played basketball and missed shots just like I did because he was from Russia. Not all people from Russia are bad. Just everybody who says Putin is good is bad. He's a, he's stupid. And you know what? I can say that because I know he's never going to watch these videos. One thing I will close with, because I basically said all the topics in my regular speech that I give before I say the topics that I'm going to discuss is what what is wrong with Nebraska what is wrong with Nebraska they have no NCAA tournament victories and I was thinking instead of doing that intro that I did I was actually thinking let's make a list of every single team that has won who is not part of a major conference and 
uh, let's see how long that list is. And you know what? The list was long. So long, I didn't want to make it. Because you have basically every team on there. I want you to think about this. Bellarmine Basketball, who, or in Florida Gulf Coast, only has ever been in as, like, less than... <laughs> they've been higher... Okay, it's weird talking about Martha Madness because you're thinking, oh, the one seed is technically lower, or it's higher than the 16 seed, but anyways, well, lower, higher, I don't know. This is hard to describe, but anyways, Florida Gulf Coast has been, I think, between 10 and 16 all time, and they made a freaking sweet 16, and why can't Nebraska do that? Why is Nebraska so bad? I think it's the fact that they've been bad and then they're part of a big conference and it's not like anybody's going to go there for basketball and people are only going to go there for football. What what really is weird is Northwestern because they only recently got wins in basketball. I'm like, well, you should rely on your basketball team when your football team is bad and I don't know how great your baseball team is. But, oh, wait, people go to your school for education. That's weird. Look at Stanford. They're more successful than you. Um... <laughs> I, I say that, but then, like, the super smart schools in the Ivy League are like, you know what? Sports are okay, but you know what's even cooler? Books. We're going to read books. And if we lose in basketball, that's okay. We were the 12th seed anyways. I don't really give a shit. And you know what? You went to Brown, so who gives a fuck if you lose a basketball game because you're still at Brown? Oh, my God. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I don't really care if you watch that, to be honest. I watch my videos more than you do. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I do watch my videos more than you do. Anyways, that's going to do it. Outro.